Before we proceed on our discussion, let me present to you our objectives. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to determine and apply the formula in finding the decile value for group data. Solve problems involving deciles for group data using frequency distribution table. Apply and interpret deciles in real-life situations. Let's get started. In our previous lesson, we learned how to solve and interpret quartiles for group data. This time, we will discuss how to solve and interpret deciles for group data. But before that, let us review what is deciles. Deciles are those values that divide the total frequency into 10 equal parts. At this moment, let us determine the formula that we're going to use to solve the decile value for group data. In finding the value of decile, we need to determine first the d sub k class. The formula is simply d sub k is equal to k times n all over 10. Then, we can proceed to the formula for decile, which is d sub k is equal to the lower boundary plus quantity k times n over 10 minus less than cumulative frequency before the decile class all over the frequency of the decile class times the interval. Again, LB is the lower boundary of the D sub K class. N is the total frequency. Less than CFB is equal to less than cumulative frequency before the D sub K class. FDK is the frequency of the D sub K class. I is the size of the class interval and K is the end decile. For you to understand this, let's have an illustrative example. Calculate the 4th decile and the 7th decile of the mathematics test score of 50 students using the given frequency table. We will solve D sub 4 or the 4th decile followed by the D sub 7 or the 7th decile. Let's start solving D sub 4. To solve for the 4th decile, first step is to create additional column for the lower boundaries and the less than cumulative frequency. Step number 2 is to fill in the table by identifying the lower boundary and less than cumulative frequency. To identify the lower boundary, we will subtract 0.5 from the lower limit in each class. So we have 21 minus 0.5 is 20.5, 26 minus 0.5 is 25.5, 31 minus 0.5 is 30.5, 36 minus 0.5 is 35.5, 41 minus 0.5 is 40.5, 46 minus 0.5 is 45.5. Moreover, to get the less than cumulative frequency, we will start with the first class, the one with the lowest value of the lower limit and upper limit in the class interval. We will look at the frequency of the first class and copy it in the column of the less than cumulative frequency. So we have 6. Then we will add this to the frequency of the second class. So we have 6 plus 12 is equal to 18. Then we will add 18 by the frequency of the third class. So 18 plus 9 is 27. Then 27 plus 11 is 38. 38 plus 8 is 46. 46 plus 4 is 50. The last number for the less than cumulative frequency also determines the total number of frequency. So n is equal to 50. To check, you can add all the frequencies. 4 plus 8 plus 11 plus 9 plus 12 plus 6 is equal to 50. By counting, the size of the class interval is 5. Step number 3. Determine the d sub k class before computing the value of d sub k. We have d sub k class is equal to k n over 10. Next is to substitute the given values. We have d sub, have d sub 4 class is equal to 4 times 50 over 10. Since 4 is our k and n is equal to 50. 4 times 50 is equal to 200 
divided by 10, we have 20. 20 is between 18 and 27. We will choose the higher value, which is 27. Hence, the D sub 4 class is found in the third class. After we determine our D sub K class, we can now apply the formula for decile to solve the decile value. We have D sub K is equal to the lower boundary plus quantity K times N over 10 minus less than cumulative frequency before the decile class all over the frequency of the decile class times the size of the interval. We can now substitute the given values. So we have D sub 4 is equal to the lower boundary that is 30.5 plus quantity Kn over 10. We already saw Kn over 10 and that is equal to 20 minus less than cumulative frequency before the D sub 4. So we have 18 all over the frequency of the D sub K class and that is equal to 9 times the size of the interval which is 5. After substitution, we can now solve 20 minus 18 is equal to 2. Then the rest copy. After solving for decile 4, let us solve the 7th decile or D sub 7. Since we already identified the lower boundary and less than cumulative frequency, we can already proceed with step number 3 and that is to determine the D sub K class. We have D sub K class is equal to Kn over 10. By substitution, we have D sub 7 class is equal to 7 times 50 over 10. Since our N is 50 and K is 7, since we're solving for D sub 7. Let us compute. 7 times 50 is 350 divided by 10. We have 35. 35 is between 38 and 27. Again, we will choose the higher value, which is 38. Hence, the D sub 7 class is found in the 4th class. After we determine our D sub K class, we can now apply the formula for the decile to solve the decile value. We have D sub K is equal to the lower boundary plus quantity K times N over 10 minus less than cumulative frequency before the decile class all over the frequency of the decile class times the size of the interval. Then, let us substitute the given values. We have D sub 7 is equal to the lower boundary of D sub 7 and that is 35.5. Since we already solved Kn over 10, which is equal to 35, we will subtract it by the less than cumulative frequency before the D sub K class. So we have 38 below it, we have 27. All over the frequency of the D sub 7 and that is equal to 11 times the size of the interval which is equal to 5. We can now solve 35 minus 27 is equal to 8 then the rest copy. Next, we will multiply 8 by 5, we have 40. Then 40 divided by 11 is equal to 3.64. Last step, 35.5 plus 3.64 is equal to 39.14. So the decile 7 is equal to 39.14. Decile 7 means 70% of the distribution. Therefore, 70% of the students have a score less than or equal to 39.14. Let's have another example. The following data gives the score of 30 contestants in Science Quiz B. First, we're going to construct a frequency distribution table with 6 classes. Then, calculate the value of the 8th decile. To construct a frequency distribution table, First, we need to determine the range. 
range is simply the highest score minus the lowest score. The highest score is 43 and the lowest score is 20. So 43 minus 20 is equal to 23. 23 is the range. Next is to determine the number of class intervals. In R given, we have 6 classes or number of class intervals. Then, we need to compute the size of the class interval. This is equal to the range over the number of class intervals. So we have 23 divided by 6 is equal to 3.83 and that is equivalent to 4. Therefore, the size of the class interval is equal to 4. We can now create a table. The first column is the class interval, then the tally, then the frequency. The number of class interval is 6, so we have 6 classes. Now, let us determine the lower limits. Identify first the lowest value, and that is equal to 20. Then, we will add the size of the class interval to determine the next lower limit. 20 plus 4 is equal to 24, plus 4 is 28, plus 4, 32, plus 4, 36, and plus 4, we have 40. How about the upper limits? The second lower limit is 24, minus 1, so we have 23. Then again, we will add 4 to determine the next upper limit. 23 plus 4 is 27, plus 4, 31, plus 4, 35, plus 4, 39, and plus 4, we have 43. We can now proceed with the tally. 24 is on the second class, 30 is in the third class, 39 is in the fifth class, 40 is in the sixth class, and so on. After the tally, we can now write the frequency of each class by counting. So we have 3, then 8, 6, 0, 6, and 7. After we construct the frequency distribution table, we can now solve. Let us now calculate the value of the 8 decile. To solve the 8 decile, first step is to create additional column for the lower boundaries and less than cumulative frequency. Then, fill in the table by identifying the lower boundary and less than cumulative frequency. To identify the lower boundary, we will subtract 0.5 from the lower limit in each class. So we have 20 minus 0.5 is 19.5, 24 minus 0.5 is 23.5, 28 minus 0.5 is 27.5, 32 minus 0.5 is 31.5, 36 minus 0.5, we have 35.5, and 40 minus 0.5, we have 39.5. Moreover, to get the less than cumulative frequency, we will start with the first class, the one with the lower limit and upper limit in the class interval. We will look at the frequency of the first class and copy it in the column of the less than cumulative frequency. Then, we will add this to the frequency of the second class, which is 8. 8 plus 3 is equal to 11. Then, 11 plus 6, we have 17. 17 plus 0 is 17. 17 plus 6 is 23. Then, 23 plus 7 is equal to 30. The last number for the less than commutative frequency also determines the total number of frequency. So n is equal to 30. Again, the size of the class interval is 4 by counting. In addition, we can now determine the d sub k class before computing the value of d sub k. So we have d sub k class is equal to k times n over 10. By substitution, we have d sub 8 class is equal to 8 times 30 over 10. Because our k is 8 and n is equal to 30. 
8 times 30 is equal to 240 divided by 10, we have 24. 24 is between 30 and 23. And again, we will choose the higher value, which is 30. Hence, the D sub 8 class is found in the 6th class. After we determine the D sub K class, we can now apply the formula for decile to solve the decile value. We have D sub K is equal to the lower boundary plus quantity K times N over 10 minus less than commutative frequency before the decile class all over the frequency of the decile class times the size of the interval. Then let us substitute the given values. We have D sub 8 is equal to the lower boundary of D sub 8 that is 39.5 plus kn over 10 which we already solved and that is equal to 24 minus less than cumulative frequency before the d sub 8 which is 23 all over the frequency of d sub 8 class that is equal to 7 times the interval 4 after substitution we can now solve 24 minus 23 is equal to 1 and the rest copy. Next, we will multiply 1 by 4. We have 4 divided by 7 that is 0 0.57. Last step, 39.5 plus 0 0.57, we have 40.07. Therefore, the 8th decile is equal to 40.07. Decel 8 means 80% of the distribution. Therefore, 80% of the students have a score less than or equal to 40.07.